Space of Bliss. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm just jumping on to, you know, I have so much bliss going on right now and it is in the moment of, you know, talking about the topic where there's people that are hating content and it's not just me, it's a lot of people that are on YouTube sharing their information for others, uh, you know, to be helpful in what it is that they do. And my content is different than a lot of other people um but it is you know what i am being given to share and so i'm in bliss and i wish i could share this space with you um because there's a lot of things going on in the world and i get to enjoy the space of bliss and the awareness of it all that's what's going on you know not just with the the practice of non-attachment which i've have been able to attain and then the letting go and then being able to, in the letting go, bring up the arising of love in the space, a divine connection to source. But the awareness that they keep sharing with me is amazing. And I am so grateful for my journey. And without the suffering that's caused my awakening, I wouldn't be here without it. And in this space, having the understanding that I have now, and though along the journey, I've um, contemplated it. You know, I've suffered the, okay, why did I have to go through that? But it's awareness of going through that that brings the awareness that you have now. And so with them sharing, you know, the space of this content that I'm getting out there <clears throat> is the view of people. I kind of started thinking about, you know, is this really necessary uh, that I share this? Because, you know, are people really ready for it? You know, and it's not really about me. <laughs> and they tell me that. Um, it's not about me and so it's regardless whether i think they're ready or not it's really up to them and so i just share the content and that's all that i need to do and in that awareness understanding i'm letting go of any attachment that i have to it which is letting the awareness of the sharing going and so i'm going to keep creating my content whether you like it or not because <laughs> it's really not up to me it's what i'm being guided to do and to help with raising, you know, the conscious and awareness. But the space that I'm in, I'm having the understanding from where they are at on the other side. And I am so grateful for that because in the understanding that, you know, there's going to be people who are open to it and then there's going to be people who are not. But regardless if you're open or not, you're still going to get it. It's just depending on the way that you're going to get it. And you know, that makes me happy because I'm still contributing to those who are not liking it. So, and unfortunately, it's going to come through um, the non-allowance of it on your side, uh, which is the conditions that's been set upon you by others, which makes you only think inside the box, which is a realization of itself. And so the content, there's nothing wrong with the content. It's about the way it's being viewed. And they bring that to me to have an understanding in the space of bliss. And so that's the way they view it from the other side. You know, they are grateful for us in all things that we are creating. You know, there's no judgment. There's no bad. There's no good. There's only contemplating it. And from there, we get to make choices, right? That's our free will to choose. And whatever we are choosing, we're going to bring to us, regardless if it is positive or negative, because there's no this is good, this is bad, whatever you're focusing on, you're bringing it to you, right? And that's manifestation. And so from that point of view of manifestation, it's either going to be the negative aspect of it or the positive aspect of it, uh, no matter where you are and how you're looking at it. And so it's the view that you're taking of it that uh, is going to allow it to come to you through that perspective. And so from that view, it's going to project into the reality that we're creating for ourselves to have that experience that's going to come to you to have that understanding and through whatever that is going to be is going to be the awakening so it can be challenging yes and you know although i don't want to per se you know be in joy of somebody's agony or suffering it's what you're allowing and what you're not allowing um, and so to say that they are in judgment is untrue. Uh, we are the ones that are judging ourselves. No, there's no hatred, no punishment, no, 
um, going to hell, no, any of that that we make up here. They're just in gratitude that you are here being who you are for the realization of itself, which is attaining itself on a higher level of consciousness, which is your awareness and what you're allowing, what you're not allowing. But what you're not allowing, you're still allowing because you're bringing it to you by choosing not to allow it. It's actually helping you to create more of it than what you would be if you were allowing it because then it's just flowing. Then the knowledge, the information, the downloads, the information without the construct. But when you're in the construct, you're allowing that to pervade and it can create dissonance, which is allowing when you have like opposites, right? There's always this injunction of not um, allowing. So it's creating fiction, right? And dissonance from what you're allowing. And it's only because that's what you've known for so long that you're not wanting to give it up, that you're allowing something new to come in and to be the observer of something new, some new information. You know, it's like growing up. We learn one thing and then we grow and we learn something else. But in our dissonance, we don't allow things, which creates disharmony and that creates suffering. So allowing is more easier <laughs> than um, restricting. Uh, information that is pertaining to higher consciousness and awareness right so it is allowing of that and I had to learn that myself you know I went through a lot of suffering and um, uh, not allowing in higher consciousness to come in I was like dead on being in the construct this is you know this 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 right and not allowing myself to be in the space of connecting right and so that caused a lot of disharmony in my life. And then the awakening, the new death experience has definitely shook that up and took me out of my space of lack of understanding and awareness of what is really going on here and what we're really doing and who we truly are. And when you can be in that space and seeing it from the, the higher collective, the higher understanding, the higher knowing, the oneness, the true source, then it's a space of bliss and understanding. And you can just be like, it's just amazing to be in that space. And I don't am not in it all the time, but I do get into it quite often, you know, when they're sharing information with me and I'm able to um, connect to that space. And just in sharing this information, I hope that makes sense to you. Um, and I wish you could feel what I feel. And I know like what you're perceiving outside of me, what you're looking at, uh, if you're not open and aware of the space that I'm in, you're not going to be able to receive it. But on another level, if you are, then you're going to be able to tell the space that I'm in um, at the moment while they're helping to share this information. But with that, I just kind of wanted to, you know, share the understanding that, you know, on the side, there is no, nothing like what we want to believe it to be here on the side. They're actually in awe and in um, gratitude that you're here, regardless if you're being love or not, whether you are suffering or whether you are in bliss, whatever it is that you're in, they love you no matter what. And there's no not loving you because that's the way it is on the other side. Um, it's here that we are not, <laughs> you know, divinely connected with the source. It's all condition based uh, from that reality. And to make change of that, we have to be aware of ourselves and we have to do self work and we have to start connecting, getting rid of and stepping out of our constructs of what we believe to be like something that's set in stone because it's not, right? That's just our awareness. All right, any questions? Uh, if you want to book a session, let me know. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. And um, thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.